dominated Leeds, the whole of Europe began to realise here was a club side to take on and generally beat the best. Leeds always had someone to win the day, on this occasion Peter Lorimer, who was to score again in the second leg at Ellen Road. Victories on European soil became commonplace. And they were even more frequent at Ellen Road, where Leeds became virtually invincible. The goals flowed from an 11 of international stars. Mick Jones, the executioner here, against Crystal Palace. And the mightier the opponent, the harder they seemed to fall. Terry Cooper. Mick Jones. O'Grady. Jack Charlton. Bremner. Oh, beautiful goal! What a superb goal by Bremner! Hunter. Giles. Leeds lost that grip they had earlier. But here's Bremner here, Leeds. A good ball, nice ball to Gray. And a goal, a glorious goal, a superbly executed goal. Never am I saying the Leeds have lost their ascendancy and a glorious through pass. And Eddie Gray picked his spot magnificently, a superb goal. Crowd getting all worked up now. Johnny Giles. Hunter. Cooper. Clark. Jerry Young with him. Clark going very fast. Oh, he's had a wonderful chance. He's there. Springett and Young got in a mix up, and Clark makes it number one. Alan Clark went very fast then. Jerry Young and Peter Spring had left it to each other and Clark was there with an open goal. Leeds and Wednesday were vying for the title of Kings of Yorkshire. Leeds took the crown. Lorimer! And that's more like it. There's the goal! There's the goal! It's happened Alan Clark, the scorer. And Peter Lorimer made it. Ten men on the field now, Giles having attention as they mount an attack. Clark asking for it, but trying hard not to be offside. Hunter. Maidley, and is that number two by Clark? So easy, so easy, stroked home by Clark. What a cool, beautifully taken goal. Norman Hunter. Giles, Mel Blythe's head again, Bremner, there's Jones, and there it is, at last Leeds have reached it, a beautiful ball for Bremner, Mick Jones, Mick Jones went in with a diving header, and this fast packed defence of Crystal Palace is at last breached. Jim Scott, heading it on, again for Scott. Queen, Hunter, that's a 50-50 ball won by Maidley, and Maidley going forward well, and a good ball to Jones, what a good pass by Maidley, Jones, there it is, number two, Mick Jones, a lovely through ball from Maidley, and Mick Jones hit it under the body of John Jackson. Maidley winning the ball in midfield, tremendous regularity, a great break here for Clark. There it is. 1-0. Alan Clark, the man with his hand in the air of triumph. The Wolves again making, falling into the air of the poorly directed passes. And this leads covering so fast and sharp and incisive. Lorimer. Clark going up. And Clark going in, now it's Jones! Well, that was a sad moment there, and I think Munro got a touch on it. Oldfield certainly should have had it. Terry Yorath. 
Managing to get it back to Lauren though. Paul Maidley. Chris Galvin out on the left is Hibbert. Galvin holding it at the moment. Bates trying to get up there. Gray picking it up in midfield. And a good one. It's there. What an incredible goal. What an incredibly judged goal by Eddie Gray. He saw that Peter Mella, England under 23 international, was about 10 yards out of his goal. And from 35 yards, flighted the ball over the top of him. A beautiful piece of football by Eddie Gray. Galvin. Bates. Gray. Good ball meant for Johannesson. And here's Gray. And a full save by Mello. He had to have two attempts at that. Gray still up there. Eddie Gray. Oh, good footwork by Gray. Still going. Oh, what a lovely goal. What a masterly goal by Eddie Gray. The 1969-70 season was never to be forgotten as Leeds went for an incredible treble in League, FA Cup and European Cup. Billy Bremner finally broke the deadlock in the FA Cup marathon with Manchester United at Burnden Park to take Leeds to Wembley for the second time. The question now was, how many trophies were Leeds going to win? But the legs were beginning to tire and there were the first ominous signs when Leeds played Celtic at Ellen Road. Not only could they not find the Scottish net, they lost to a George Connelly goal and went out over the two legs. For much of the FA Cup final at Wembley, they seemed certain to beat Chelsea. But after a two-all draw, a replay at Old Trafford saw the Londoners come out on top. And Leeds were left with nothing to show for their amazing efforts.